Redhead hackers are the one who illegally engage in computer trespassing. Cracker is another term for the redhead hackers. Usually refer to the creation of software cracks to bypass anti-piracy methods. Redhead hackers generally have a malicious intent and carry out activities that will negatively affect others. They may use computers to attack systems for profit, for fun, for political motivation, or as a part of a social cause. White hat hackers are also known as ethical hackers. They do not participate in illegal activities. They are computer security experts who either have authorization to break into the system or program, or they do so with the intent of assisting the manufacturer in securing them. Such people are employed by the company where these professionals are sometimes called snackers. So can you pay back tomorrow during the class? Huh? What are you saying? Uh, I beg your pardon? I say, um, can you pay me back the money tomorrow? Uh, when I borrow money from you? Just now, you Facebook inbox me and ask me to buy 100 ringgit little card for you around 2 p.m. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you the time I and I had the meeting at the time. 
and I think I did log in my Facebook thing yesterday. Oh, I think you better check it now. Uh, okay, okay, I go check now. Uh, later I call back you. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. What the impact will bring to the hacking victim? Let us make some examples. Let the company being hacked, its reputation will be destroyed as well as its operation. The information of the customer, such as the email, credit card number, will be stolen in order to do some illegal online transaction. The company being hacked will face the financial problem because they spend much money in patching security holes, repairing the customer address, losses, and so on. The company being hacked will lose the important and confidential data as well because while the hacking, the data will be deleted or modified by the hack. Do not connect your services to a computer that are not secure. Keep your password as secret and don't share it to others. Don't share your personal details by using public Wi-Fi. <coughs> Check the source of link before you click it. What do you know about hacking? Do you think getting into someone's Facebook account or Google account is called hacking? No, not really. In computer networking, hacking is any technical effort to manipulate behavior of network connections and connected systems. Hacking is historically referred to constructive, clever, technical work that was not necessarily related to computer systems. So when did hacking originate? MIT engineers in 1960s carried out some harmless technical experiments and fun learning activities. These were so called hacks. Before the internet, several hackers in US experimented with methods to modify telephones for making free long distance calls over the phone network illegally. As computer networking and internet exploded in popularity, data networks became the most common target of hackers. Malicious attacks on computer networks are officially known as cracking while hacking truly applies only to activities having good intentions. However, most non-technical people fail to make this distinction. Hacking on computer networks is often done through scripts or other network programming. These programs generally manipulate data passing through a network connection in ways designed to obtain more information about how the target system works. Many such pre-packaged scripts are posted on the internet for anyone, typically entry-level hackers, to use. More advanced hackers may study and modify these scripts to develop new methods. A few high-skilled hackers work for commercial firms with a job to protect that company's software and data from outside hacking. Cracking techniques on networks include creating worms, initiating denial-of-service DOS attacks, or establishing unauthorized remote access connections to a device 